Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Monday means it's Modern Monday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and we have a really sweet deck to look at today. So this is Hakan's Vengeance, which a while ago took a Magic Online user by the name of Wirecat to a top 8 finish in a Magic Online PTQ, so congrats to Wirecat on a super sweet deck. A quick reminder before we break it all down, if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at me main to videos next week. So Hakan's Vengeance is built around this crazy cold snap rare, Hakan's Stromgold Scourge, and this card is just really weird. So it's a 3-3 three, three for 3. The problem is you can only cast it from your graveyard. You can't cast it from your hand, so you gotta get it into your graveyard to even cast it, and then you cast it from your graveyard, but once you get it on the battlefield, you can cast night cards from your graveyard. So that's kind of the idea of the deck. There's a few different things going on and a lot of neat little synergies, but the basic idea is to get Hakan in our graveyard, get it on the battlefield, and then cast knights from our graveyard. So what are we casting with Hakan? And here we cheat a little bit. Technically, Nameless Inversion is a knight, but it's also a crab and a cat and a cat snake and every other creature type. It's a shapeshifter, but but we don't have any true knights. Instead, we're trying to just cast Nameless Inversion again and again, and it's basically a removal spell. It gives a creature plus three, negative three, so it kills things with three toughness. The thing is, we can cast this repeatedly, because we cast it from our graveyard, and then it'll go back to our graveyard, so for every two mana we have, we can cast a Nameless Inversion if we have a Hakan out. So that might sound pretty sweet, but it gets sweeter. The way we actually kill our opponent is with Burning Vengeance, which is a 3-mana enchantment that lets us deal 2 damage to a creature or player whenever we cast a spell from our graveyard. So, Hakan on the battlefield, cast a bunch of Nameless Inversions, burn our opponent out with Burning Vengeance is the plan. Also, Burning Vengeance combines with Nameless Inversion to let us take down bigger creatures. Let's say our opponent has a Tarmogoyf that's a 4-5, we give it plus 3, negative 3 with Nameless Inversion, throw the Burning Vengeance trigger at it as well, and that kills a 5 toughness Tarmogoy for a Reality Smasher, whatever else is going on. So that's kind of the main plan of the deck, but we also have a lot of different synergies built around this. So plan 2 is, how do we actually get Hakan into our graveyard, and here we have a bunch of different ways. First off, we have Discard, and most of the time we want to target these spells at our opponent, Raven's Crime, Inquisition of Kozilek. However, if we want to, turn one, we can always Raven's Crime ourselves, Inquisition ourselves, get the Hakan in our graveyard, because once we get it in our graveyard, it'll just keep going back and forth out of the graveyard, and then future copies of these cards we can throw at our opponent. Raven's Crime, also a super sweet combo with Burning Vengeance, because we can keep retracing it from our graveyard graveyard as long as we can discard a land, and every time we do that we're shocking something, dealing two damage to something, so that's another way we can win the game. We also can discard our Hakan with Smallpox or Death Cloud, and these cards kind of do double duty. They let us discard our Hakan, they also disrupt our opponent, and we have a lot of ways to take advantage of our graveyard, so we don't really mind our stuff going into the graveyard, because we can always get it back with something like Life from the Loam, which is another important piece of our deck. So this can get a Hakan in our graveyard by dredging, so instead of drawing a card, we can mill three, get the Life from Loam back in our hand. Also, super sweet combo with Burning Vengeance and with our Raven's Crime, because we can use this to repeatedly get back three lands every single turn and then discard those lands to our... Raven's Crime to make our opponent discard cards and also trigger our Burning Vengeance so over the course of like three or four turns that combo will burn our opponent out of the game. And Tarmogoyf just takes advantage of the fact that we got a lot of stuff going in our graveyard. Hakans for creatures, our lands are naturally going to go there from Smallpox and so forth. So it's going to be pretty big. Good beater. 
good play to clog up the ground on turn two. And that's kind of the main plan of the deck, is to build around the Hakan synergy, but also just have all these sweet graveyard synergies and different combos to take advantage of Burning Vengeance and use that to close out the game. As far as the mana base, get some fetches, get some shocks, some basics, a bunch of other dual lands, a Lava Claw reaches for beatdowns, and a Tech Edge. Keep getting back, keep destroying our opponents on basics if the game goes long. As far as the sideboard, Damnation wipes away everything, Engineer to Explosives, great against Lingering Souls, non-creature permanence, Victim of Night, the most unconditional black removal spell in modern. And then we have Ancient Grudge Nature's Claim in a Forest. This might look a little weird, but the forest is there to protect against Blood Moon. We actually don't have any forest in the main deck, and if our opponent's going to bring a Blood Moon, we need to be able to cast our life from the loam to really combo off, so it's kind of protection against Blood Moon. And then just some Nile Spell Bombs to deal with the opponent's graveyard, and that is Hakan's Vengeance for Modern. And that's our instant deck deck for the day, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.